Okay, everybody, we're going to do a little different project today. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you make a mold? How do you make a mold of something? So, yesterday at the field, a friend of mine uh, ordered this, uh, I guess, front nasal cover here. And uh, apparently, whoever manufactures them, they keep melting in the sun, especially when it's 105 degrees like it is here in the desert. So I'm going to make a fiberglass mold of this so we can reproduce it, obviously, in fiberglass. So I'm going to show you the technique that I'm using. I could make it in 3D and just pop them out in 3D, but then you've got a bunch of finishing and so on and so forth. So it's easier just to make a mold. The problem with this part is it's so thin, it's uh, less than half a millimetre that it's too flexible to be able to work with. So I have to make a base, then glue this plug to the base so that I can actually work with it. So uh, I have to first make the base. That's what I'm gonna do now. Now the problem with this is put any pressure on it and you see that it starts to move around on you. So normally I would just trace around this, then scan it and transfer it. But I'm gonna show you the method I'm going to use now. So I'm just going to basically use a bunch of connect the dots, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, let's just get the pen primed up here. So I got a cavity here, which I have to um, uh, cut out. So I need to scribe that in the mold. So I'm just going to do that. Put a little dash where the Start and stop. I guess this is for the exhaust on the plane. And uh, then we're just going to basically do a connector dot thing. So I, I've taped the paper down and I've taped the part to the paper. So what I'm going to do is just make a series of dots really close up. And then uh, I'll show you the next technique. So why I'm doing this, I'll cut the camera off and we'll get back when it's done. All right, so I've uh, connected all the dots. So now what I want to do is remove this from the work I'm doing here. So these dashes just tell me where these uh, openings begin and end. And uh, what I'm going to do now is transfer it into the computer. All right, so next trick is to just put it into the scanner. I'm not going to try and, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm not going to try and, oh. oh, I see it's uh, transferred through. I was getting confused there. So I'm just going to place it into the scanner. And then uh, I'm going to hit scan, and uh, this scan is set up to print one-to-one, -one, or I should say scan one-to-one. -one. All right, so I'm not going to do a, a screen capture. I'm just going to record the screen. Uh, anyone who uses Fusion uh, should know about this. So I'm just going to go and uh, find the uh, cowl on my desktop here. The cowl image, there we go. We're going to open it up, we're going to put it on the front, oh no, we want to put it on the top face, so I'll swing it around, there we go, so there's top, <clears throat> I'm going to expand it up a bit so I can see it, and then uh, press OK, and now the image is in the uh, computer, so what I need to do now is take an exact measurement from one point to another point so I can scale this up. So now what I'm going to do is just basically uh, uh, create a new sketch on the top plane, which is the same plane that's on. I'm going to rotate it because I just prefer to work that, uh, that way a little better. I'm going to use the fit point spline and I'm just going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is just literally connect the dots. So we want to go from that hash mark there to, uh, let's see, about there I should do it. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. 
you want to minimize uh, the amount of, uh, I guess, dots, if you want to call it that, <laughs> that you put in. So I'll just come beyond that a little bit. Click OK, and then we'll start adjusting it up a little bit. So let's see, we're we going through here, OK. All right. So we'll just go with that for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically send that to the laser. Uh, well, I guess first, uh, no, I'll just send that to laser as is and then uh, test it on this part and then we'll uh, just from there. Okay, so <clears throat> we're ready to uh, send this to the laser now. So what I'm going to do is just turn the canvas off. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to basically uh, do a copy, then a paste. Oh, I'm not in edit. Hang on. <laughs> so I have to go and edit sketch. Select all, copy, paste. I'm going to move uh, this one up to here. Whoops. And say OK. I'm going to rotate it around again because I just like working with that. And this is the one. This is the original. The one on the right is the one we're going to be uh, playing with. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, do a select all again by double clicking on it. We're gonna go into the offset. And I know I was putting the dots on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is a inside offset of uh, one millimeter. So that's uh, this uh, parameter here. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the outside line because we do have a backup over here. I'm gonna finish the sketch. I'm going to go into Utilities, select my uh, Export Origin tool, which is uh, Shaper Origin. And if you have a laser and you use Fusion, definitely get this um, little app that's uh, basically free. Let's see, Single, uh, Entire Sketch, Sketch Profile. And click that one. I'm going to send it out. Do a replace because I've already done it once, but I did it at full size. So I'm going to hide Fusion now. And this is a file here. So I'm just going to grab it and throw it onto my laser. Here we go. So we can find somewhere on the screen where it'll fit, which is right there. And uh, I'll select my material, which is uh, plywood at three millimeters. And... Uh, We'll select the file, the cup type we need, go down to one eighth uh, plywood, and we're gonna say print. So that's gonna now cut the part out and uh, we'll test fit it. 